Hey everyone, this is John from motionworks.net back with a short Cinema 4D tip for you. This is a technique for creating some hexagonal holes inside a sphere. So let's just jump straight in. I'm going to create a sphere and with the sphere selected, I'm going to come over to type and change it from standard to icosahedron. Now I want to make that editable by pressing C and in edge mode, select all. I'm going to drop that into a subdivision surface just by holding down the Alt key or Option on Mac and just clicking Subdivision Surface. Now we have too many subdivisions to start with, so I'm going to drop the Subdivision Renderer down to 1. And once again, press C to make that editable. And you can see I still have my original selection, and that's important. You can see we also have these hexagonal shapes now. So I'm going to remove these edges by right-clicking and choosing Dissolve. Okay, so it looks like a mess. We can see a lot of n-gons there, but it doesn't matter. Just go into polygon mode, select all. Now I'm going to come down to the extrude inner tool and just extrude that a little bit. Just zoom in so we can see. Now I might use these inner parts later, so I'm going to split them off rather than deleting them by pressing UP and delete. That'll delete the original ones. And these are the inner ones here. Just going to name those and just hide them. Okay, so there's the basic shape. Now, it's not perfectly round, and we can use a deformer to help us with that. So I'm going to select the subdivision surface, hold down Shift, and I'm going to choose this deformer here, Shrink Wrap. And using Shift will make that a child of this layer. Now I need a sphere to wrap this onto, so I'm going to make a new sphere and I need lots of segments, so 84 should do. We don't need to see it, so I'm just going to turn that off. Select the shrink wrap and drag the sphere into the target object. And you can see it just pushed it out a little bit and made that a little more round. Of course, I can always change the size of the sphere, the radius. You could also, of course, add some more subdivisions if you needed to. This looks pretty good. So once you've got to this stage, we need to burn this down. So I'm going to right click and choose current state to object and just turn this one off. And here we are. So if I select all of that, control A, I'm in polygon mode and I'm going to extrude it. So I have create caps turned on and just going to extrude just like that. So the result we have so far is that looking pretty good. Now we could drop this into another subdivision surface and this will give us more rounded holes just like that. Looks like some kind of dog's toy but I'm just going to keep this outside of a subdivision surface and I'm going to bevel these edges. So best way and the quickest way to select the edges go into edge mode choose fong break selection and come over and select all and come down to the bevel tool I'm just going to give this a slight bevel. I'm just going to leave this on one subdivision. And this is the result. Get these nice little micro bevels. Now you could leave it at that, but I'm going to just take this inner one that we split off before. Have a bit of fun with that. It already looks quite interesting now, just like that. But I'm going to select that. Go into polygon mode. Select all. Inner extrude. Something like that. Extrude. Like that. Inner extrude again. You can see where we're going with this. Extrude. Some kind of sci-fi mine or something like that. Okay, maybe just once more. Okay, so I want to bevel this object as well. So once again, edge mode, fong break selection, select all, bevel tool, and give this a little bevel. And the result looks pretty interesting. Something like that. Looks pretty complex. Didn't take much work at all. You can see that would look really nice with some glass texture or even some sort of grungy texture on it. 
super easy to do and uh, a nice clean result. Okay, so that's just a quick tip. If you want to dive deep into modeling in Cinema 4D, you'll need to check out Making It Look Great 11, Hard Surface Modeling Tactics for Cinema 4D. You can grab this from Motionworks and you can see it has over 21 reviews now and all five stars and it definitely is worth it. I've done this training myself and it's been an important backbone of my knowledge for modeling in Cinema 4D. But for now, this is John from Motionworks.net. Have fun, be creative and get modeling.